Mary Eliza Mahoney, born in 1845 in Dorchester, Massachusetts, was the first professionally trained and licensed black nurse in the United States. In 1879, she became the first African American to graduate from an American school of nursing. Mary Mahoney's parents were freed slaves from North Carolina who moved to Massachusetts before the American Civil War to pursue a life with less racial discrimination. At the age of 10, Mary was admitted into the Phillips School, one of the first integrated schools in Boston. Mary developed an interest in nursing at an early age, but had to overcome several hurdles to realize her dream of becoming a registered nurse. In the 19th century, nursing schools often rejected applications from black women. However, after years of working long hours as a cook and maid at the New England Hospital for Women and Children, starting at the age of 18, she was accepted to their nursing program in 1878 at the age of 33. Out of a class of 40, Mary Mahoney and two white women were the only students to complete the rigorous nursing program and receive their nursing diplomas. Nurse Mahoney worked as a private duty registered nurse for many years, earning a distinguished reputation. She predominantly worked for white, wealthy families in the northeastern and southeastern United States. Her professionalism helped raise the status and standards for all nurses. One of Nurse Mahoney's goals was to change the perception of black nurses among patients and families. She wanted to abolish discrimination in the nursing field. She believed that all people should have the opportunity to pursue their dreams without racial discrimination. Frederick Douglass, a prominent African-American abolitionist, helped influence her active participation against racial discrimination. In the early 1900s, the Nurses Associated Alumni of the United States and Canada, NSC, which later became the American Nurses Association, ANA, did not welcome black nurses into their association. So in 1908, registered nurse Mahoney co-founded a more inclusive nurses association called the National Association of Colored Graduate Nurses, NACGN, with the help of Martha M. Franklin and Ada B. Toms. This association aimed to support and congratulate the accomplishments of all outstanding nurses and eliminate racial discrimination in the nursing community. Nurse Mary Eliza Mahoney finished her career in 1911 to 1912 as the director of the Howard Colored Orphan Asylum in Kings Park, Long Island, New York, where she helped black children and black elderly persons. In retirement, she actively participated in the advancement of civil rights in the U.S. In 1920, after women's suffrage was achieved in the U.S., Mahoney was one of the first women in Boston to register to vote. In 1923, she was diagnosed with breast cancer and battled the illness for three years until she passed away on January 4, 1926, at the age of 80. In recognition of her outstanding example to nurses of all races, the NACGN established the Mary Mahoney Award in 1936. When the NACGN merged with the American Nurses Association in 1951, the award was continued. The Mary Mahoney Award is currently bestowed biennially by the American Nurses Association in recognition of significant contributions in advancing equal opportunities in nursing for members of minority groups. In 1976, 50 years after her death, Mary Mahoney was highly recognized professionally by being inducted into the American Nurses Association Hall of Fame. She was also inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame in 1993. In April 2006, Mary Mahoney was officially recognized and honored by the United States Congress in a House of Representatives resolution as being America's first professionally trained African-American nurse. Mary Eliza Mahoney RN, the first licensed black nurse in the United States, was a hard-working trailblazer and humanitarian.